Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. In the last episode we did the intro pretty much. Uh, and now we're going to be having a look at the first area in the game. It's been a little bit since I played last so I might be a bit crap. But <laughs> there's only one way to find out. Ooh, acquiring enemy loot. Enemies drop loot such as items and money. Multiple enemies can be looted at once and from distance, from some distance away. Items found in the world are different than loot, in that they must be approached and picked up. Press and hold square to acquire loot. Press square near items in the world to pick them up. It's quite useful that uh, you can pull in items from enemies rather than having to walk up to their bodies and press square like in all the other From Software games. Hello, didn't see you. Oh dear, there's another one. Oh. Break his guard. There we go. Perfect. I think my headphones are way too loud. Oh my god. That was terrifying. I guess I should look around, see if I can find anything hidden away. Oh, he looks dangerous. Can we get up there? Yes, we can. I'm sure that man can still see us when we're up here. I can take out at least one of them with stealth, I think. Yeah, let's take out the guy with the gun. Aha! Oh dear. Ow. Oh no, all my timing's off. Gonna have to give me a second to get back into the game, I think. More pellets. Pellets are incredibly useful. A fistful of ash. Ash gripped into a hardened clump. That's... I should probably use these items a lot more than I currently am. Ah, it's a dog. Was a dog. It's no longer a dog. Oh. I think I just had another dog. I did. Oi, get back here. Maybe I should just block it. Can we block dogs? Damn it! You can. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Ceramic shard. Anything around the back here? No. Ah, there's a... Ah, oh, why do I get a feeling there's going to be like a boss behind this? Sculptor's idol found. Do we need to rest? I don't think so. Ooh, a shuriken wheel, a mechanical device made by a mechanical genius, Dogen. It can be fit into the shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. While it's palm sized, it's a surprising number of shuriken can fit into the shuriken wheel, as the edges were designed for stacking. And a fine example of what can be achieved when one matches mechanical finesse with a shinobi's talent. Shinobi tools can be used on their own by giving them to the sculptor they can be fitted. Can't be used on their own. By giving them to the sculptor they can be fitted into the shinobi prosthetic. You can quickly return to the sculptor via the travel from the sculptor's idol or by using the homeward idol. That seems like a bit of an indication that we should go back. Oh, he looks nasty. He looks very nasty indeed. I wonder if we can jump from that roof and try and get a, a sneaky, a sneaky first hit. Uh -huh. You saw nothing. Oh, he has two health bars. Leap! Aha! Oh, perilous attacks. Some enemies use unguardable perilous attacks, signified with a danger symbol. When these occur, watch carefully and try to respond properly as each type requires a specific response. We can... L1 as a thrust lands to deflect, X before a sweep and circle before grab attacks to step dodge. Okay. So we have to jump out of the way of attacks. Oh 
Oh, ow. Okay, this guy can hit really hard. He can recover his own stamina? Damn. Why don't we have anything like that? Oh. You can cycle through various quick items and use each according to the situation. For instance, if you've taken damage, you can recover vitality with a healing gourd. Thanks, knew that. Now is not the time. I do need to eat this though. Maha! No. Oh dear. Oh, that's a sweep. I do apologise if I don't talk too much when I'm doing this. I think I'm paying attention to what the hell is going on. Oh, I didn't like that guy at all. A prayer bead. A loose prayer bead. Offering four of them at the Sculptor's Idol will increase your maximum vitality and posture. Currently, the wolf has one bead in his possession. And a gourd seed. A seed from which healing waters continuously spring forth. Give to Emma to increase the maximum uses of the healing gourd. The twisted gourd of medicinal waters was known throughout the Ashina long, since long ago, but it was an extraordinary healer. Dojin and his pupil Emma, who discovered the self-replenishing nature of this seed. But that is like an Estus shard for those of you who have played Dark Souls. I hope that guy doesn't come back. Maybe I should go back and give that in. And also equip the shuriken. Let's do that. Uh, let's go to the dilapidated temple idol. Wonderful, here we are. So this is Emma. You truly returned from the dead. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. I am a doctor serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me, but for his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. However, my master gave explicit orders to assist you in any way I can. I'm not telling you to trust me. However, I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess, that was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor, and I will assist you in that capacity. Guess we can present the healing gourd. Yes, it was intended for Lord Kuro. But it seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but the medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. Gourd seeds? Yes. Medicinal waters flow from gourd seeds. Adding new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters. If you find any, bring them to me. All right. Okay, well, we have one. Consume the gold seed to increase the maximum uses of the healing gourd. Yes. Bring it here. Plant the seed into the gourd. Perfect. Now the volume of medicinal waters in your gourd will increase. Such a strange medicine. Is it strange? <laughs> I don't take any offense to that. If it's effective, then that's cause for celebration, whether it's strange or not. That's what my mentor Dogen taught me. I see. Please bring me any other gourd seeds you find. I should be able to further increase the volume of the medicinal water. Okay, does she have anything else to say? I'd like to make a request. What is it? Please show me your face. What? Hmm. This white mark. Is it a birthmark? No. Then... That must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps... 
It's a symptom. <sighs> Are you done? Yes, that will be all. I'm sorry. That was rather rude of me. Goodbye. Well, how interesting. So we can give this. We can talk to the sculptor. One. A shinobi tool? Yes. I said before that your prosthetic arm was a fang. But by fitting shinobi tools to your arm, you'll be able to change the form of that fang. Thick shields, break them into splinters. Swift foes, bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices means more ways to slay your enemies. If there's someone that needs killing, there's a proper way to kill them. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Seems you know this prosthetic very well. I should calm myself. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures will become. Give it here. I'll fit that tool for you. Regular shinobi tools found in the world can be specifically adapted to shinobi prosthetics via the Fit Prosthetic Tools menu. Create the loaded shuriken. Yes. Uh, cost spirit emblems to use, pull a shuriken loaded into the wheel and launch it at a target in a single flowing motion. The swiftly thrown shuriken damages enemy vitality and posture, partially, particularly against those with the tendencies to take to the air. Okay. No matter what I do, any Buddha I carve is an incarnation of wrath. Thus is the fate of those who owe a deep karmic debt. You will understand when you try carving one for yourself one day. So, need something? Hmm. Yes, right. That kind-faced Buddha you see over there? Don't do anything funny with it. <laughs> Prosthetic tools are shinobi tools adapted for use with the shinobi prosthetic. They can be equipped in the equipment menu by using and using them consume spirit emblems. Yeah, we've unlocked. So we can have a maximum of three. Right now we only have one. And we have no spirit. Oh, never mind. Now we have two. Spirit emblems are required to activate prosthetic tools and are consumed each time. These abilities are used. Spirit emblems can be obtained from defeated enemies in the world and purchased from sculptors' idols. If you pass near them, they will find their way to you. Well, that seems awfully convenient. So let's go back to where we were. Oh, the enhanced physical attributes option has been unlocked in the sculptors' menu idol. Here you can spend four prayer to create a prayer necklace, which will permanently increase your maximum vitality and posture. We only have one, so we can't do that just yet. Let's go back to the outskirts wall, the gate path. Yeah, and here we are. Let's hope that nasty man hasn't come back. It does not appear so. Looks like we can just carry on. And hope. There's nothing nastier further on. Oh, there's a man right there. The man up there. Let's get rid of that man up there first. Oh dear, there's another man right there. Ow! I've been shot. Oh dear. Excuse me, camera. Please work with me. Thank you. Let's deal with that man who has a gun, shall we? Oh, my health. Let's try one of these new healing gods. <laughs> wow, that hurt a lot. Ceramic shard. There's a lot of whatever's down here. I don't want to get rid of that guy. The guys with the hats are a pain. They seem to be much better at actually guarding against me. Ok, 
Okay, there's a guy with a gun up there. Oh dear. Saved by the invulnerability frames. Come on, friend. You walk over here, I'm not walking over there. Oh god, that gunfire makes me jump every time. Come on. Ow. Got him, let's deal with the gunner. Wonderful. Anybody else around here who wants to... What the hell is that thing? <laughs> Quick, run and hide. You don't see me here, do you? Where is she? I assume it was a she. Can we stealth kill it? Damn it. How did you see me? Okay, she's she's forgotten I'm here. Oh dear. Oh! That's a big hammer. You you don't know I'm here. Stop pretending you know I'm here. Hide. <laughs> Oh yeah yeah! <laughs> this is a this is an entertaining foe. I can only assume if I get hit by that hammer, it's gonna bloody hurt. Oh come on! Whoop! Don't know why my death blow isn't working. There we go. <laughs> what a horrible creature. Dead now though, so it's all good. Anything hidden around these corners? Off of ledges and things? I don't know how these games work. Somebody standing in that building over there. Anyone guarding her? Friend or foe? I think it's a friend because we can't lock onto her. Oh, is that you, Inosuke? My son, have you seen the young master? Hmm. Say nothing. What? Nothing to say? Does your stomach hurt or something? You always had a weak stomach. Hmm. Well, anyway, take this bell. It's a charm I made with the young master in mind. Please, offer it to Buddha for his sake. Thank you. A bell charm received from an old woman who asked that it be offered to Buddha. Bell charms protect their holders through Buddha's divine protection. If one finds themselves the owner of another's bell charm, offering to Buddha on their behalf is a common courtesy. The sculptor at the dilapidated temple can advise how it should be offered. Well, there is a Buddha statue in the dilapidated temple, so maybe we should go there. Hello? Uh, who is it? Is somebody there? Yes. That voice. No. Could it be? Sir, my name is Inosuke Nogami. A vassal of the Hirata family. Or at least I was. I ask a favor. Might you look in on the old lady in that house? She's my mother, but her mind is failing. She cannot tell one from another. I met your mother. She gave me a bell. She did, did she? You have my thanks. That bell's troubled her for a long, long time. She kept muttering incoherently. Something about offering it to Buddha. Okay. Well, we have the bell. It seems to be definitely pushing me in the direction 
of offerings, said Bell. That man over there looks like he has a drain pipe cannon. You should probably worry about that. Uh, hmm. Looks like we can get around if we can if we can latch onto those branches, maybe over there. There's a guy right here. Let's stab him. Aha! Oh dear. Ooh. Oh my! I think I just found the drain pipe cannon. <sighs> Let's hide down here. Oh, a Mibu possession balloon. A Mibu balloon filled with the fountainhead water, imbued with a blessing of fortune. If one pops this vibrant green Mibu balloon and prays that those its water splashes upon have a higher chance of obtaining items. Mibu means aquatic life, or life born of water. The Ashina consider the fountainhead water itself to be worthy of worship. And another one? I don't think it's seen me. I don't know if I should be worried about this. Scrap iron. Iron dregs mined in Ashina, widely used for basic reinforcement. It can serve as a base material for prosthetic tool upgrades. Ashina is burdened with thick snow and infertile land, but the scrap iron dug from her soil is anything but crude. Go up here. Looks like we're sneaking around the back. Oh dear, he, de he definitely knows I'm here. We can make that jump. Sneaky ninja. Oh dear. That was worrying. Anybody here? No? Don't think so. It's good. Can we make that jump? Oh. Not a fan of this game's uh, love of making you jump over vast gaps on the hope that you might reach it with your grappling hook. Oh, hello. It's a... Uh... Oh, no. Eh. It's another one of the sculptors. Now, the big question is, do I have a look in this area first? Or... Do I go and hand... In... The bell to the Buddha? I want to kill Cannon Man. Where's Cannon Man? He was on the wall, wasn't he? That red thing down there. Let's kill a bird. I'm not entirely sure why I killed a bird, but I did. There he is. Let's deal with this old fella. Oop, I didn't. I didn't go to plan. Do 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 stab. Ooh, gunpowder. Black grains forming the base for gunpowder. Material used in alchemical prosthetic tool upgrades, including those of an explosive explosive and occultic nature. Even the most mundane form of gunpowder has a wide variety of applications. I mean killing everyone does seem like a good idea. Another one. Wow, he swung a little bit short, didn't he? Antidote powder. A powerful antidote concocted by the Sunken Valley Clan. Heals status abnormality poison and temporarily increases poison resistance. Magnetite deposits are found in the Sunken Valley, but the place is dangerously toxic. Antidote powder is essential for anyone attempting to mine the ore. Oh no. I forgot to lock on. Okay. In that we can consider that a success. Oh, no, didn't want to do that. Up there, there we go. How acrobatic. 
and completely intentional. I want to see what that red thing is. This. Oh. There's a man there. This man was from Hirata. I must pay my respects. Lord Kuro. Lady Emma. Are there other Hirata survivors? There are very few of us left. I see. Apologies. There's no end to those who seek the dragon's heritage. This was their fate. Because of those that pursued me. I didn't mean to involve them. Hmm. Who are you, friend? Oh, man. It's a very shady looking fella. Ah, uh, I know you. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You're that good Sir Shinobi, sir. I haven't seen you since, well, since that night. That night? What night? Hmm? You don't remember? No. Ah, I see. You don't remember. Hmm. Listen, sir, you and I, we met before. I was a thief back then. <laughs> but those days are behind me. Now, I'm an upright and honest merchant. Only problem is, I'm broke. And being broke, I don't have anything to sell. So, good sir, would you mind lending me just a few coins to get my business going? I'll stock something useful just for you. Oh, you bet I will. And as a little bonus, I'll tell you all about that night. What do you think? Pretty good deal, right? <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm about, I'm being swindled? But I will, I will give you the money. Here's some coins. Thanks, good sir. Now talk. Yes, 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 of course. That night. <laughs> so my gang broke into the Hirata estate. Now, as you're aware, the Hirata family is part of the Ashina. Now, normally they'd mop the floor with petty thieves like us. I mean, no sweat. But it just so happens we broke in during a battle. Yeah. Almost all of the young samurai were away from home. And it was a prime opportunity. Then, we started a fire and cleaned out the place. That there's when I met you. You, you were looking for something. At least, that's what it looked like to me. Well, that's all I know about that night. I see. Yeah, uh, that uh, look you're making now. <laughs> you had that same look on your face that night. You still looking for something? Listen, <laughs> good sir. For a price, I might be able to tell you some other tidbits you might find useful. Now, for a price, of course, I'm a, a merchant now, you know, so. Hmm, I wonder what this information is. Do I have a hundred cent? I do. I'll buy some information. Thank you very much for your patronage. Hmm. Since you're a shinobi, I'll give you some information about shinobi tools, Ooh. if you could. Now, I've seen this tube. A tube with fire blasting out of it. Huh? When we broke into the Hirata estate, one of my pals nabbed one. That's... That's the sound the fire makes when it blasts out. A tattered note written by Anayama seems to be from some years ago. Lucrative info number 36. When we broke into the Hirata estate, we found a barrel that spewed flames. The boys lit a roaring bonfire with it and made merry with the drink. Must have been a shinobi tool. A fire shooting tube at the Hirata estate. We'll keep that in mind. Hmm. How oh, interesting. With that big bastard tied up next to us. I'd rather not be gravely injured just before the war begins. Ah, it's the worst. Only choice is to use fire. Those red eyes fear fire. That's what the war of proclamation says. Proclamation? What a joke. Ashina sure has a funny way of preparing for war. Everything is pointing me back to using that Buddha statue. And getting a fire tube. I don't have a fire tube, so maybe it relates to the going to the 
Yeah. So let's go back to the dilapidated temple and have a look at that old statue. Well, there's the Buddha. Do we talk to the man first? Can we ask him? What is it? Seems to be your battle since his return. You're more like a shinobi than before. If only a little. Take this. Oh, a shinobi esoteric text. A book of secrets that details a variety of techniques employed by shinobi. That's the ability to learn shinobi style skills. Within this text are the innermost secrets of the shinobi arts such as attacks performed in the air and hiding one's body to avoid detection. Such moves could never be practiced by samurai. Is it? Shinobi techniques recorded within are fighting techniques that cannot be performed by samurai. Hmm. Whether you make use of them or not is up to you. Shinobi aren't the only ones with their own fighting techniques. Owning an esoteric text of a combat style will allow its skills to be acquired in the Sculptor's Idle skill menu. Each enemy defeated provides skill experience. Skill points are acquired once enough experience is gained, which can be spent to unlock skills. Some skills can also be learned by obtaining items or defeating enemies. How oh, interesting. Close your eyes. Hear the bell speak to you. The bell's chime will stir your thoughts and awaken old memories from their slumber. Three years ago. It's a time-traveling Buddha bell. I guess. I'm gonna have to end the episode here, but we definitely have a look at this. This seems to be what the merchant was talking about. The acquire skills menu has been unlocked in the sculptor's idle menu. New skills can be learned by spending skill points in this menu. New skills can be acquired by spending skill points in the skill menu. New combat styles can be learned through obtaining esoteric text for each style. There are three types of skills. Combat arts, shinobi martial arts, and latent skills. Combat arts must be equipped to be used, but shinobi martial arts and latent skills are always in effect upon being acquired. You can only actually afford one. That's the win. Whirlwind Slash. Acquires the combat art, the Whirlwind Slash, a spinning attack that can be hit several that can hit several enemies at once. The sharp cut combined with the force of the spin can strike multiple foes and deal damage, even when guarded. When surrounded by enemies, the Shinobi technique can cut open a path to victory. Now I think I have to equip it. Yes, combat arts are special attack skills based on the strengths of the fighting style they belong to. They must be equipped in the equipment menu to be used and can be learned through the skill menu or found in special esoteric texts. R1, holding L1. Only one combat art can be equipped at a time. Ooh. I can see many uses for that. Can you chain it into... Yes, you can. Okay, well, yes, I will end the episode here. In the next episode, we will... Uh, this place got a name. Actually, what's it? Oh, the Hirat Hirata Estate. This is exactly where we need to be. We're looking for a tube of explosive powders. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time. <laughs>